Hey guys, so today we are making udon noodles from scratch, and yes, you do have to step on them. Hey guys, so we are making udon noodles from scratch today. It is obviously not something that you need to do or have to do, but I always think it is nice to see the process done once. And making udon actually involves a very traditional process that a lot of people in Japan actually do, and that is putting the uh, udon dough into a bag and then using your feet and your whole body weight to step onto the dough. I actually made one version where I just, you know, really tried to use the rolling pin. It did not come out nearly as well. And because udon dough is so dry and is so hard, it is nearly impossible to really kind of use, you know, a little bit of elbow grease to do the same thing that your whole body weight can do. As you guys know, the texture of udon is kind of soft. It is very different from pasta. So yeah, I hope you guys all join me for this process. So to start off, I'm going to make the salt water solution and you want the salt to be 10% of the liquid. So I have 15 grams of salt that I have dissolved in 135 milliliters of water. I'm adding that liquid to 300 grams of all-purpose flour, and as with any dough, I reserve one to two tablespoons of liquid just in case if the moisture level uh, in the environment is a little bit different. So some might need a little bit more water, some might need a little bit less, but this dough is bone dry. You are going to struggle to get it together. I tried adding a little bit more liquid in a previous recipe and it just became any old kind of Asian noodle. So in order to get that texture of udon, this needs to be dry. And that is why it is so important to later on to be using your feet to knead this dough because otherwise it's too hard to be doing it by hand. So I'm gonna show you this using my hands first and then later on the feet, just because it's a little bit weird to do it uh, the other way first. But the motions that I'm using are kind of pounding and pushing down motions. I am not stretching uh, this dough out. And the goal is to just get it into like a rectangle, kind of like a square, and you roll it up and then when you place it in the bag, you roll it the other way. So it's always kind of, um, you're stretching it out in a T formation, first vertically, then horizontally. And it just keeps kind of, I think the gluten fibers short uh, that way. And I'm showing this to you like this, but actually in between, I am using my foot all the way through because it is nearly impossible to get this dough smooth and to get it kneaded out with just your hands. So I repeat that for four times, um, using my feet to kind of step on the dough for right around a minute uh, each turn, and then eventually it becomes a lot smoother. So 
So that last turn, I shaped the dough into a rectangle because later on it will be easier to roll out. So leave that in the bag for right around one to two hours. And then after which you want to dust the board with um, either a little bit of cornstarch or maybe rice flour. It's just gonna be a little bit lighter than dusting it with flour. And then you want to roll it out into about one eighth of an inch, which seems to be thinner than udon noodles actually are. But once you place them into the water, they actually balloon um, up in size. So don't roll this, uh, don't roll this too thick. Next, you want to fold the dough up into an accordion shape and that is how you're going to cut the noodles. I would recommend a quarter inch or maybe even a little bit thinner because again, once it hits the water, the noodles do get a lot bigger. You might see some places put the noodles out onto a stick and that is actually not just for show. Um, with these noodles, because they are so stiff, the way that you put them into the water is the way that they will be. So if you want nice kind of long straight noodles, this is an extra step that you do have to do. And at this point, if you want to, feel free to freeze them uh, now, or as what we are going to do, stick it into a pot of boiling water and you need to cook it for right around 12 to 15 minutes. A good check on that is at 12 minutes, take a bite out of one of the noodles and if the middles are good, then you're good. And if it's not, maybe a couple more minutes. I usually stir them every so often so that they don't stick together. And then once the noodles are done, you want to run them under cool water. And I'm just sticking them in a bowl now so that you guys can see. But um, that kind of washes away the additional starch on the outside of the noodles so that again, they don't end up sticking together. So I'm just pairing these noodles with a little bit of an udon dipping sauce. Uh, you can buy them in the grocery store or usually it's just a mix of like some mirin and some soy sauce and I will top it off with some nori seaweed. You can see how well the noodles held its shape and that's because of how dry the dough is and also how we kneaded it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that udon recipe and next time when you're in a pinch, know that you can make these from scratch. As usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, please, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys all again next time. Bye.